I believe we all know this feeling when we are working on some project in Photoshop, in Vegas Pro or anything else and as the project gets more and more complex, the software simply crash, stop working and not responding anymore. And not once, but over and over and over again. As you clicked on this video, I believe you know what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to show you one trick that you can try to do to fix this software crashing issue. So let's go for this. So for fixing of this problem, first of all, we have to launch the task manager. So I will click on Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Or you can also go through Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete and then click on Task Manager. As you can see, thanks to this we simply launched the Task Manager where we can see all of the processes that are running at the background in our PC. Here you can see my Vegas Pro, which is right there, my OBS with which I am recording and all of the others. Maybe you are asking what actually causes the crashing of the software. In majority of cases, it's caused because the CPU usage, this one, will go up to 100%. That means your CPU runs on maximum and any additional, even small task can crash your software from running. So how can we solve this? For this you will simply go towards the details and then you will find the software you want to try to fix. So I will scroll down as I'm looking for the Vegas Pro. So as I found already Vegas Pro, I will simply right click and click on set affinity. Here as you can see new small window popped up which called the processor affinity. Here you can see which part of your processors are working on the Vegas Pro. As you can see in my case it's all checked. What you would consider it's not bad is with more cores we got more performance available during edit or the render phase. But watch out, because when you are using all of your CPUs, any other software, application, game or web browser that would like to use some part of CPU then could have problem with your software. This is why you should not check all of the processor cores, mainly when we are talking about the highly performance demanding softwares like Vegas Pro, Photoshop, Blender or anything like this. That means we should keep one or two cores unchecked, of course depends on how many cores you have. So let's say that in my case I will uncheck the bottom two ones, so core 11 and core 10. I prefer to uncheck the bottom ones as I consider the upper ones to be preferred for the software. So I will uncheck the two cores at the bottom and thanks to this, believe it or not, this should fix my software crashing problem. Or at least the software should now not crash as often as before. In case you have Windows 11, here once again we want to launch the task manager, so you will click on Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. As you can see, it's once again the same thing as with the Windows 10. Only thing that's different is that this is at the dark mode. So here we can see all of our processing running. And now we want to go towards the details at the left. And you will once again find the software you want to fix your crashing ad. So in my case, I will go with the OBS this time. I will right click and click on set affinity. And here once again, we can see that we got all of the cores checked and we can simply uncheck or check any of those same as it was at the Windows 10 version. So in the end it's not really a huge deal because it's the same thing as with the Windows 10, it just looks a little bit different. But in the end it's really the same. Ok ladies and gentlemen that's all for this video, really hope this one trick will help you to solve your software crashing problem at least as much as it helped to me in the past when I had a huge problem with the random software crashes over and over and over again. In case this video helped you, please let me know at least by clicking this like button. Uh, but for today it's really all, thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you all at the next video.